We're at 1629 Colorado Boulevard in Idaho Springs. Exterior of the house is pretty hammered. But kind of what you'd expect in a hundred year old house. This is the east side of the house. Entrance to what would be eventually the master bedroom. This is all addition to the original house and we'll be discussing that in greater detail soon. This portion here is all flat roof. About four feet from wall to wall to your neighbor. Neighbor's house is nice. Lots of siding damage on this side of the house. Getting ready to enter the home. This is about a seven foot by five foot entryway. The door has been dented. Stairway and corner, approximately ten foot ceilings. The bay window. All of these windows are pretty old and dilapidated. Good size entryway, good square footage, and uh, the first floor of the original house has passed the marble test. It's very level. Foundation seems to be good. When we get upstairs is where we begin to have some issues. Jason Van Gotten, your inspector. Here you can see the first evidence of some settling. That wall seems to be a little out of plumb in the doorway.
appears to be some evidence of water damage above this window. Here's the doorway that goes outside. This would be considered the master. And this wall right here was the original exterior wall for the original house. Everything to the right of this frame is addition, has flat roof above. And one of the problems we've identified early is everything built above here is settling this way. We'll show you the marble test upstairs later. So effectively, the upstairs is cantilevered six feet over where it used to be a load-bearing wall and is no longer here. And it's uh, created some shifting upstairs. Appears to have held some water here from the upstairs tub. Possibly some mold around it. This bathroom appears to be in reasonable shape. This is the main bathroom off of the kitchen. When I say main bathroom, I just mean it's a water closet, toilet, and sink. Um, this wood appears to be, possibly had been exterior before. This black stuff on here looks like old tar paper that uh, was ripped off but maintained some of the material on it. Um, probably put in here artistically in mind, although it does look pretty gross. Um, not the end of the world. Sink does have continuous drip. It was winterized until just yesterday. Huh? Only new window in the whole house. There it is. And in between the water closet, there is extra storage, a pantry of sorts. And then directly off the kitchen would be laundry. You got 220 there. Drains. This is, not really sure what that's all about. Out into the backyard. Good sized backyard. 180 down, and here is the crawl space. I'm going in there eventually. That drain seems to exit and go nowhere. This is the garage that will probably be falling down eventually. To a carport. Might be able to fit a Volkswagen in the carport. This is a reasonable 
garage again just fit a very small car in here maybe there's additional storage up in the front and then there's also additional storage up in the attic but this structure will need to come down step up and out into the back alleyway and the sarge putter right up back Again, all of these windows seem to be pretty hammered. Again, a lot of efficiency replacing those. Uh, you see where they had some sort of apparatus on here to keep it a little warmer. Do have some drywall cracks. So upstairs, the top of the stairs, here are the two bedrooms. One on the right, one straight ahead. And then this is the one bathroom upstairs, a full bath. And then this is the tub where we saw evidence downstairs in the addition of the leak. And this is probably as good a time. Well, there's a new window too. A couple of them. Uh, the new addition off the back, we'll need to find out from county records when exactly that was built. Uh, it is a mostly flat roof, which can obviously be some maintenance issues there. It's approximately 10 foot by 10 foot, roughly, this room. With the closet. And this is where we noticed a significant amount of leaning. Uh, Jason has numbers for that, but it would correlate with the addition and taking away that one load bearing wall. This room is quite a bit bigger than the other. It's probably nine feet across and 14 feet long with an extra large walk-in closet. Okay, we're now down in the crawl space. Jason inspecting the furnace, the water heater, 